Hello beautiful, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video where we are going to do my monthly haul. I'm going to let you know about all the things that I have purchased during the month, including my Sephora haul. I still have not like unpacked this one. I got this one late last night, so I thought we'd unpack it together and I'll show you what I got in the Sephora VIB sale that's still ongoing. And I also have some things that I've bought outside of the sale for some weird reason and i also have a bunch of pr to show you and we're gonna discuss a little bit like how much money i spent on this and also the future of this series we're gonna be discussing the future of this series because i want to get some input so let's just dive into all of this because i feel like this is going to be a juicy video <laughs> So I have my Sephora box here. Hopefully I have not been doxing myself. I love you, but I don't want you visiting me, sorry. So let's dive into the things that I purchased myself during the sale. The sale is still ongoing and right now it is open for everyone. I will put some details in the description box in case you are interested. And if you do shop through my affiliated links, Thank you so much. It really, really does help out, especially now during this time where YouTube is at at this point. But I feel like I was pretty good in this sale. I bought a lot less than I did during the last sale, but I did buy more than I did the sale last um, winter. Like the last fall sale with Sephora, I bought more this time than I did last fall, but I bought way less now than I did during the spring sale. Does this make sense? So I did spend, I think, around $320. We'll talk more about money going towards that after. After the discount was withdrawn, I am rude, so I did get 20% off. But I did buy the Huda powder. This is the Easy Bake and Snatch powder. I actually bought it in Pound Cake. I think I have, I have the powder here. Yes, in the loose powder, I have banana bread, which is a really good shade for me. And I think I bought pound cake because I was thinking I could use this one as like, um, like a powder contour thingamajig. I don't know. I don't know. But this is what it looks. Oh, so rude. This is what it looks like. Oh, is there a, oh, there is a, oh, this is actually kind of a nice little spongy thing under here. You know what? I am about that. But it also shows how little, so rude. Also shows how little powder you get. Oh my, I am failing so bad. I need help. Somebody send help or a glass of wine. You see how thin that is? That is just a little sliver of powder. But yeah, this is what it looks like. And clearly, um, <laughs> what was I smoking ordering this one? This is not my shade. So this, this, <laughs> this one. This will just, um, not, is that shimmery? Ma'am, that's shimmer. Okay. This will just not be an all over powder for me because that is not my shade. But it's not super, it's definitely shimmery. Huh. Okay. I'm excited. I bought it. I'm excited. This is something that's been out of stock for forever and I managed to snag this one. This is the One Size Until Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. Listen, I am an oily combo girly and I, I need a little help. So I got this one. Now we're in winter, so it isn't that bad here in Texas, but I am excited. Are you supposed to shake this? I'm shaking. I'm shaking like a crazy person. Extremely flammable. Uh-huh. Transfer proof, setting spray, lightest air, blah, blah, blah. Instructions, shake well. Ooh, don't look at that. Don't look at my flub. Listen, a lady is about to be 40. Let me have my flub. That smells like hairspray. Like, we're talking like 1994 hairspray. Um, listen, I am going to be trying this out. Hopefully, I am going <laughs> to... I'm gonna be loving it because I've been waiting to buy that for a long time. I think it is sold out again. And I will, of course, link everything down in the description box, hopefully in the order as I'm mentioning them in case you were interested. I also bought the Tower 20 Concealer. Do we want to do like a try-on haul? That seems to be a really good shade. Go me. I got the 1E. I-E. I have no idea what that means. But that seems to be... Oh yeah, this is a good shade. This is a good shade. Okay, I'm excited about that. Again, do we want to do that? I don't have a new foundation though to try, but maybe we're okay. 
Let me know if you would like to see that. I also, for some reason, bought three lipsticks. So I did buy the Kosas Wet Stick. Is it called Wet Stick? That sounds like a fancy dildo. Um, she's shiny. Uh, that's like a blue, like a light blue metallic. I like that. And this is the color. Let me put this away. We're in the swatching. We're in the swatching era right now. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm liking that. Oh, smells. Mmm. Do you know what this smells like? This smells like Swedish uh, mörkakor. Like a vanilla pastry, like a vanilla shortbread, I should say. Lovely. I also bought two lippies and I blame Khaki. So Khaki, if I don't like these, I will be sending you an invoice, please. And thank you. I got the Hourglass Phantom Volumizing. Is this thingy? Ooh. Volumizing Glossy Balm. Um, I got mine in... Rice. Ooh, are all of these the same color? Are all of these the same color? Answer is yes. This one is clearly more sheer. Are these all the same color? <laughs> and I also got a, a candy glaze, a YSL candy glaze. People are saying they're loving this packaging, but I don't know. Silver with metallic pink. I think people have been watching Barbie too much. How do I get this open? Oh, it's another one of those like clicky things. Okay, I gotcha. Okay, so I basically bought um, the same color in three formulas. I'm gonna need that glass of wine now. So I did also get the Milk Kush. Uh, I think this is like the Brow Kush Lamination Gel. It looks like this, and there is supposed to be... This is supposed to work. Hmm, the bristles are longer on one side, like the Patrick Ta one. I will be the one to decide that, thank you very much, but I'm excited to try it. They also sent me this one in plastic bag <laughs> so this is the one i talked about this is the bumble and bumble thickening dry spun texture spray so i got this one i think this is the full size but i did get a, a, a mini in pr actually so we'll get to that soon as well i did buy that one and i did buy the perfume that i was talking about oh, i'm so excited actually you know what i am excited about this one i wore this yesterday and i put it back in the put it back in the packaging so that I could fool you, but then I'm telling you anyway, so no first impressions, but this is the Ellis Brooklyn Apple Love. This comes in this red one, and I do tend to buy the small ones all the time because I just do not go through full-size perfumes. It's a waste of money, and I like switching up perfumes. This one is a sweet apple scent, and there's definitely some flores in here. If you have ever smelled the the Kayali uh, apple scent, and you thought that one is a little bit too full frontal apple. This one is apple mixed with other things, and this one is also a little bit more girly than the Kayali one. I do prefer the Kayali one myself, but I gotta say, it smells really good, and it smells really good on as well. So I do think it's a good scent, but it is not apple's fall. It is apple spring and summer. If that gives you any idea of like the, the feeling of the perfume, I'll wear any perfume at any time, but it's not really like fall time apples. It's more like a sweet, florally, summer, springtime apple scent. It's nice though. And last one I bought is the Sephora Favorites perfume samplers. And there is a bunch of perfumes. Did this not used to be a bag? What is this? <laughs> Um, and basically you get a bunch of sampler perfumes in here. I strictly remember this being like a bag, an actual bag, not like a foil Ziploc. Am I the only one remembering this? Anyways, I got this one, the cologne one last year, and I really, really liked it. And me and my husband were trying it out, and he actually picked out the ombre leather for himself. This year, the reason why I picked up, I always... When I see these perfume samplers, I only pick up this one if I already know that I like a scent. Because that means that if I hate all the other ones, at least I know there's one here that I can get a full size. Because you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten samples in here. So for example, this is the 
Oh my god, I'm getting stuck. This is the Pakaraban Fame. There is a sample in here and you try out all the samples and then there is a coupon in here. There has a code on it. You can either exchange it in store or you can do it online. I did it online last time and you can pick which one of these you would like a full size of. Like you pick your favorite and one of the fragrances here is the Replica on a Date, which I've been smelling a lot because I think it is very interesting scent. It is black currant, and I like black currant. Uh, some people hate it, some people love it. I think it is a very fascinating scent. So if I end up not liking any of the other ones, I will do the on a date because I actually do not own that one. I'm also very, very intrigued by B because I think I have smelled that in store. So yeah, I'm gonna be trying these out even though I will say presentation, three out of 10. I don't know what happened here, but I will link this down below in case you're interested. They do have other kind of perfume samplers like this as well. And I do like the idea of being able to try a bunch and then just get a full size of the one you like the most. That was my Sephora haul for the VIB sale. I will be making another order because I want to get some things from the Huda Beauty collection. I know a bunch of you were telling me that you wanted me to compare it to this one. And this is something that I bought myself. This is the Natasha Denona Sinon palette. And you wanted me to pick up the other one from Huda Beauty and compare it to this one and there were also some people asking me if I can show swatches of the Sinon palette next to the swatches of the Ghost Face palette by Glamlight. So I'm showing you that as well so that you can just see how they are uh, different because they definitely are different and I did purchase this one with my own money I do have a cold though with Natasha Denona but I don't get PR from her so I do tend to buy this uh, the stuff myself I think the quality of this one is beautiful and I recently did a look with this one together with the Yucca palette which is my favorite palette from Natasha Denona and I think the quality is just really stunning I just don't think that this will ever be my favorite because I feel like it's very one-dimensional and I will say I am a person that gray is my least favorite color, but I can still appreciate good quality eyeshadows. And I also think that there is not enough variations in undertone in this one for someone that doesn't have a cool undertone. So if you're like me, and you have a warmer undertone because I have a warmer undertone, this one will not show up as anything else than grays, grays, and grays on you. I think that if you are maybe more on a fair skin tone or if you have a very cool undertone, this one will definitely show up as different undertones. But on me, I don't see a blue, a pink, or a taupe undertone on my skin. It's all just pretty gray. So I'm just letting you know. I will link the video down below where I'm using this one in case you're interested. See, this is where I'm a little bit... Okay, I try to not buy stuff for the sake of buying stuff, but I actually have one, two, th four different purchases here from four different brands that I have not used any of them, which is very unusual for me and not how I like to run my channel, but here, <laughs> Hear me out. I do have two pencils, uh, or like the Lift and Snatch Brow Pencils by NYX. I've been using these since they came out. I have these in my brows today. These exact two colors actually, Ash Brown and Taupe. I mix them in my brows. Best brow pencil on the market, hands down. If you're like me and you wanna draw in hairs to make your brows seem more bushy or to make them seem thicker, but you don't wanna have the block brows, this is your journey. I bought these when we were just at Target buying some groceries and toilet paper. I chucked this in my cart because I knew I was about to run out of the ones I had. So this is a backup, but I still haven't gotten into them, but like I still bought them. The next thing I bought, again, this is also kind of a backup and I made an order from Vive and I bought three of my favorite lashes. So these are the exact same lashes. They're the smoky half lashes. They're beautiful. The ones that I had, I've worn them probably 30 times, honestly, and I knew I needed to replace them. So I just made an order and I bought three pair of Smokies and I also bought their new product. So that's, I, just, I was like, I wanna try this new product. I'll just buy three of my favorite lashes because I know I'm gonna be using them. So this is the liquid highlighter that we've uh, decided to release. It looks like this. You can see I've been, I was gonna say fingering it, but let's not. So this one is the Nova Glow Liquid Light and I got it in Holy Cheek. Cheek? Cheek? <laughs> Can we all tell that English is not my first language? And it is a beautiful liquid highlighter. Uh, this is, I think there are three shades and I think this is the middle shade, if I'm not totally mistaken. Um, the one thing that I I like swatch this one, I'm like, oh, that looks beautiful. It feels a little, I don't want to say greasy, but it almost feels a little balmy. 
So I wonder how this is going to feel on the skin. I haven't worn it on my face yet, but it doesn't feel dry. It feels a little balmy, a little, not dewy, but like it, it didn't dry down. That's the thing where I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to feel about this. I hope I'm not going to hate it. I still haven't used it other than on my hand, but like, look at how fabulous my hand looks. So I'm excited to be wearing it. Another thing that I just got in, I made an order from Moira. I wanted to buy because they came out with new shades in their lip liner. I'm actually wearing another shade of the Moira lip liner today. And they came out with new colors in their signature lipsticks. I love both of these products from Moira. And I wanted to get one of the new shades. This one is in number 15, Warm Nude, which is basically the same shade that I bought from the Sephora lipsticks. I need help. Uh, and this one is the lip liner in 003. Again, a warm nude on me. So yeah, that was definitely needed. But I also decided since I was making an order, I was going to try one of their duochrome uh, highlighters. You can see that this is a gold to a peach. It actually looks truly... I gotta be honest with you, that looks fantastic wow i yeah i i mean i have to be honest with you that looks so glowy and beautiful and just i have high hopes for that one and i am just shimmery all over <sighs> and my nose is itching and it's like it's a disaster the last thing that i bought i made an order from tarte and I bought two things. Um, this one had been out of stock for a really long time and I really wanted to try it. These are the Tarte uh, eyeliners and they released a white color earlier this year. And it was out of stock when I wanted to buy it and now it was back in stock so I bought it. I love a white uh, waterline and I wanted to try out the Tarte one and see if it was any good. So since this one was back in stock, I bought it together with... I have this on my lips today. Not this color, but I have the Maracuja Juicy Shift. I have it in Clementine, which is this orange that has a cooling minty sensation. That's a little plumping. It is a jelly gloss, so it does not have a milky base. It has a little bit of a pH adjusting thing in it. But as you can see, it doesn't turn bright pink. There's just a little bit of the pH one in here. So I wanted to get the one that was a limeade because it was a green. And I was thinking that this, with a little bit of a shift in it, is probably going to be lovely. I like these of all of the lipsticks that Tarte have come out with in this like glossy push-up kind of a formula. This, this one with the, are the best ones. They're the best ones. But yeah, I'm very excited about that to have another color. I've been using this one like crazy. And I did recommend this one in the Sephora sale as well. They are available at Sephora, just not these new colors. But the one I wore before, the Clementine, well, the one I'm wearing today, that one is actually available at uh, Sephora. The last thing that I have is actually that I have my... Scentbird. I do work with Scentbird on my channel, but I also have a subscription myself. And this month, I actually got a scent that they sent to me. So I chose a scent and then they sent it to me. So now I have two. And this is the Sage Supreme from Maison 21G. And this one is very, almost clony. Uh, in like a, I don't even want to say like, oh, unisex. Um, this is how they come if you don't get the case with it. It's just very almost traditional masculine in a very sexy way, but I don't know if I'm like head over heels for it. This is a herbal fresh green scent, which is what I wanted. I just didn't know that it was going to be this masculine, but it smells, it smells really good. I mean, I did have another scent on maybe. Where am I putting this? Should I should have get in this strip, but I didn't. It smells very citrus and fresh. But it's definitely a masculine scent. Definitely a more on the like traditional masculine scent. But it still smells really good. It is your secret weapon to truly explore your boundless sex appeal potential. Okay, calm down. <laughs> they went there. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but I did film this look. It is my member exclusive tutorial for this month and it is... 
uh, it's coming on Saturday on my channel in case you're interested. If you want to be a member of my channel and support the channel a little bit extra and also get access to all my member tutorials, that is the button next to the subscription button down below. And now my dog is here and thinks that he will have space on this floor, but the floor is full. But yeah, I did uh, film this look, so in case you're interested, the info is going to be either in the description box or if you click the member button next to my subscription button down below. But yeah, coming soon. I just wanted to let you know. Let's get into... <sighs> Let's get into some of the PR. I am gonna actually... This is... Okay, let me let me start by showing you something. This is what I'm gonna change for next year. I'm not gonna be doing hauls like this every month because honestly, it's just... I don't know. It, do you want to see all the PR? We're gonna go into it now and I'm gonna show you. And I mean, some of these things are just truly so spectacular, but also the things that are so spectacular, like I already did a video on them. Like that's the whole thing. So let's actually start with some of the things that I'm so, like, super excited about. I do have the things from the Glam Light and Friday the 13th collection. Was the ghost, because I have some of the ghost face things here as well. Was this also part of the, did I get this this month? Because I don't see the palette here. I don't see the palette. I only see this palette, but like, does that mean anything? I don't know if that means anything. I'm trying to look. I'm not 100% sure, but the Friday the 13th and the Ghost Face and the uh, Nightmare on Elm Street that I keep calling Terror on Elm Street, but actually the movie was called Terror on Elm Street in Sweden. That's why I keep calling it Terror. Me and my husband was talking about it and he's like, well, you didn't really misspeak. It was actually called Terror on Elm Street in Sweden. I'm like, huh, there you go. See, this is why I call it Terror on Elm Street. It's called that in Sweden. I'm Swedish, but it is Nightmare on Elm Street. That collection, I haven't gotten that one yet as we're filming this, but now you have been able to see all the Glam Light collections and you can use my code and you get 15% off at Glam Light. Let me know, which one did you think was the best? I'm trying to film, but I don't know what's going on. I think my dog is bored. He wants to cuddle. That was an intermission from my dog, but yeah, these collections are available now, and as soon as I have the Nightmare on Elm Street, I'll do something with that one as well. I just need to, like, get my hands on it, but I'm very excited, per usual, with the Glam Light collection. I think it is super fun, although I will say I do hope they have a little more of a slower pace for next year. I also have the... Uh, Hannah Martin and LH Cosmetics palette right here. I have not been able to try this one out because it's been a little bit uh, busy, so I haven't done anything with this one, but it does look pretty cute. This is made with a makeup artist. And I mean, this is a collaboration between two professional makeup artists. And I mean, for that reason, I have high hopes that this palette is gonna be not only easy to use, but also really, really good quality. But yeah, I do have that palette here. I also have the Lethal Cosmetics. These are the liquid liners. I do not have the black and the white one. Uh, I mean, I probably should just pick that one up myself and just perfect this liner palette. I think the other palette is here as well. Oh yeah. And I want to include this in a an indie palettes roundup. I do tend to do those and I'm probably going to keep using uh, indie palettes like that because it's so much easier for me to do one video like that than doing four separate videos. Even though it takes me approximately the same time to film, it just makes more sense for me to keep them together. So this is the Lethal Cosmetics 2-Up palette, which is the continuation of the 1-Up palette that they had last year. I have not been able to do anything with this yet, but I do like the color story of it. Do I love that the palette is like, like this with some dead space? Not necessarily, but I understand why it is the way it is. It is a design choice and I love this color here. It's like a blue purple duochrome. It looks so cute. So we will be trying this one out. I just haven't had the chance to do it yet, but we will do something with this together. I, let me get rid of this packaging. I also have the Didi Signature, the classic autumn palette here. This one, I'm throwing some boxes on the floor. This one I've only swatched so far. I want to include this one as well. It looks really, really cute. Uh, the shimmers were absolutely stunning. I don't know about the mattes. I only swatched them and one or two of them seemed... I don't want to call them weak, but like not as pigmented, but I cannot wait to try them on my eyes. You never really know with mattes. They don't always swatch the best, but I am excited to be trying this out. I feel like this would also make such a good addition to a video like that. This one, I told the brand that I was like, I'm not going to have time to review this. And they're like, well, we just like to send it to you. So I've already let them know that like, I will not have time, 
but we have it here and maybe we can do something. This is the Isom, the Artistry Palette number four. How do you open this one? It's just like almost broken nail. It's like an all shimmer palette. Um, they look cute. They, they do. They look, they look cute. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You're gonna have to let me know what you think about this one if you would like me to try it. I am open for suggestions per usual. This is one of my favorite palettes that have been released this season. I think this palette is beautiful. There is another palette in this series that is called Sorceress Smoke. This is from Unearthly Cosmetic. Whoop. And this is the Fall Magic palette. And I did include this one in a video where I did four looks with four indie palettes. And it is such a beautiful palette. Like, I cannot rave about this one enough. I just really think that they did something with this palette. It, it's so beautiful. It is so stunning. I really, really, really did enjoy this one. So yeah, I can definitely see myself putting this one really high the next time I do a ranking. I also really did enjoy the quality of the Glaminatrix uh, Rich Romantic palette. The only thing that I thought was not perfect is that you can see that the shift of a lot of these pink shadows are that kind of a green gold multichrome which i don't necessarily think goes together with this color scheme but i talked about more more about that in that video where i used this one i still think it is a beautiful palette i just wish that they would have made some of these shades instead of like multichromes i that they would have made them just a rich really sparkly metallic to fit with the color scheme quality is beautiful though and the look that i did I loved the look that I filmed for YouTube with this one. Absolutely stunning. I also have the Lunar Beauty Siren Sunset. This one I did do a dedicated video on. And there's also some, oh, some lippies. I have them here. Hold, hold. They are such nice colors. So much better than I thought that they were going to be. And I did lip swatch all of these in uh, the video. And I will warn them since as well. I think these are really, really nice colors. And the palette, I had a lot of fun with it. But I do need to try it a little bit more, of course, before I give you some thoughts about it. Because I only used a couple of shades. It is a little neutral leaning with several pops of color. It's not like a neutral palette with a pop of color and it's not like a colorful palette either. I would say that this is what I usually call like a half neutral, half colorful palette. <laughs> That's usually what I call these palettes and I do think that this is pretty spot on with that. I think that this like shimmery green here, it's like an iridescent like green topper. That is one that I'm very much looking forward to put all over my existence so yeah i'm excited to be diving into this one i also did get my first ever package from artitude cosmetics and they sent me their new palette which is called i think it's obsession not 100 sure i have not swatched this palette but i will put up a picture from instagram where i swatched this one because i did like an instagram picture and this one is just a really nice fall palette there are some really nice undertones here. I will say I don't know what to mix this one with, but I'm sure you can mix it with some of these, like the dark blue here. But I'm loving the undertones here. There's a lot of like light colors and like more jewel colors. I really did enjoy swatching this one and I thought the mattes, most of them felt really, really nice as well. So I'm, I'm in intrigued to be trying this one out. I also really like how they do their sleeves. This is really cool with the open thing and they also did send me their old palette which is the man eater palette and they did give me a code in case you want to save some money so this is the man eater untamed palette that was released um i think this spring right and they did actually ask me if I wanted to receive this one as PR at the time as well. And I was like, listen, it looks absolutely stunning. I've heard people really, really love your formula. I just do not have time. Not that I really have time with this either, but I am going to do something with the palette because it looks beautiful. But it is stunning. And I love the pop of this bright, like, fuchsia pink here. It looks super, super pretty. So yeah, I'm very excited about this one too. Although I will say this is another one, like... Not saying that they're the same palette, but the color story of the like burgundy pinkies mixed with greens, uh, it's a similar, like the, 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 the base story of them are pretty similar, which probably means that they will go really well together if we're going to be honest. Are those the palettes that I have here? Oh, I actually got a package yesterday. I got a package yesterday from Gloss Gods, some quads and stuff, but I wanted to show you because they came out, again, Gloss Gods is a Swedish indie brand. So if you're living in the EU and you're like, why can I not try 
any of those super fun special shades from indie brands, this is your time. Because Gloss Gods, oh, the black one has been a little shaken up in transit. I have not touched this one. Gloss Gods does all those special shades that indie brands in the US do, but you can get them shipped inside the EU. So you don't have to spend a lot of money on like uh, taxes and shipping and stuff like that. So if you were looking for that, I definitely recommend Gloss Gods. They also have this one that's called Lavender Skies. And this is what that one looks like. It's like more a pastel lavender periwinkle moment with some like little pops here. Super cute. You could probably do a similar color story to what I have on today. Like not exactly, but like the vibe. The vibe is like this. And again, there are some special shades in here together with some mattes. I really think that if you're living in the EU and you love indie brands and you've not tried out Gloss Gods, you're kind of missing out. I will leave a link to them down below in case you want to check them out. So I got a PR package from Cleonad yesterday and they are doing some fun things for this upcoming holiday season. And I'm not going to be unboxing this right now because... Let me show you what it looks like on the inside, but maybe ooh, maybe we can do something like a short or a reel or something, but you can see this. There is a special, like, they're like little mystery bundles, and I have to ask them about more details about this, but I know that these are like, if I open them, I will like spoil some kind of a mystery or surprise for you. So I'm not doing that right now, but I am going to be looking into it more. But Cleona makes some of the best, if not the best, multichromes in the game. And I'm so excited that they're doing these like stained glass mystery things for the holiday season. So keep an eye open for those. They are coming soon. Another thing that released this month was the Sigma and the Beauty and the Beast collection. I feel like this is one of the most loved like Disney movies and I'm so excited that they got their own moment. I actually have a dedicated video on this one. I will leave it down below. This is what the palette looks like. It's a super cute palette. There's also a blush palette or like a cheek palette in this collection and I honestly think the cheek palette is my favorite thing of this entire collection. I have used this one a lot a lot it is also the same beautiful packaging and on the inside there are two glowy blushes and like a golden darker champagne highlighter stunning formula looks beautiful on the cheeks mixing and matching all three of them or just one of them so pretty this is my favorite thing out of this entire collection i absolutely adore it there's also ooh, a lip set with the new formula the lip creams that they came up with i will say all of the shades are very similar like wearable nudes and there's also this bag huh, this bag and this brush there's like the brush set comes with the bag that was a really weird and long winded way of saying that that the brush set comes with this little bag and per usual the entire collection fits in the bag which is something that i think that um sigma does really well where am i putting this on the side here we go so i have a couple of more things to show you but <laughs> It's been an intense fall season, let me tell you that. This is actually one of the things that I'm the most excited to try out. This one from Makeup Forever, it does have the blushes and highlighters that I've already tried out. I actually had one of the blushes here, but it's not one of the colors that they sent me. Wait, I'm trying. Hello, I have this one. And I used it yesterday, this is in Hot Lava. I used this one yesterday. It's like a really bright orange. I really like the blushes. They also did send me a couple of other colors. Like this one is a matte one and it is in Limitless Berry. And they think they sent me the highlighter that I already have. They also sent me a dark highlighter in Limitless Cocoa. Look at how deep and beautiful that one is. I mean, I'm not gonna be keeping this one. I'm gonna find someone who can get good use out of that one. Oh, one of the highlighters they sent me is broken. So I, I don't know what to do with that one really. It's, it's a shame because this is the highlighter that I don't have, Wherever Pearl. But this is the one that I have, Anywhere Glimmer. This highlighter I have, I didn't love it that much. It's a little sparkly. I think the formula is nice, it's just a little sparkly. And then two more blushes. One is Anywhere Peach, very light peach. And one is a uh, Wherever Rose. It is a rose. I think that the highlighters and the blushes I'm gonna put in the giveaway, but the pencils, I cannot tell you how excited I am to be trying these out. I got a couple of the Endless Cocoa. Uh, I got the 
Anywhere Caffeine that everyone has been talking about, plus this one that is the uh, Wherever Walnut, right? Yeah, these shades that like everyone has been talking about. I am so grateful and so excited and I always forget to buy these during the sale, but I'm just so happy I have these. I'm so happy I have these. You have no idea. I'm taking all of these pens out now. These are gonna get used, okay? Maybe not all of the dark ones. Maybe I don't need all the dark ones. I can give some of those away. Okay, I'm keeping these, the lighter ones, and I'm gonna give away the darker ones because I rarely use those, but I am so excited. Sometimes you get PR packages where you're like, oh yes, this is exactly what I want. And I'm so grateful and so excited. I have a couple of more things from the Glam Light collection here. Mirror, anyone, mirror? I got a very generous PR package from Lily Lashes with their new, um, they have a bunch of half lashes. So I have a bunch here to try out. Some of these look like more wispy every day, which is not normally the ones that I go for, but I'm excited to have a bunch to try out because this one looks stunning. This one is an angel. It looks beautiful. So I'm very excited to have these to try out. If you didn't know, I 99.9% .9 always wear a half lash. It's just my journey. It's just what I like. I also got my, I think first PR package ever. No, I have gotten a lip gloss from Tower 28 before, but they sent me their new mascara. So you know I've been raving about this black mascara. This is the Make Waves mascara in black and now, well, in jet, my bad. And now they released it in the brown that is called Drift. And you know what? I'm not the person that wears brown mascara, but I love the Tower 28 formula. I think it is a beautiful formula. They also gave me a, oh, it's purple. Okay, a lash curler. Hello, hit, hit. Okay, you know what? I will try this out. Oh, here's another thing from Didi's Signature. There is a Plum Perfection, a little quad from Didi's Signature with two shimmers and two mattes. And I think that this is a very well composed uh, palette. This is clearly a duochrome, like a plummy purple to an olive green, two mattes, and then this like almost vanilla yellow um, little Ooh, shimmer. I think this quad is really nice. I'm excited about this one. I need to pull this one out and use it because this one looks beautiful. I really like refer brushes, but of course, as of late, I haven't used a lot of refer brushes because I've had my own brushes, but refer brushes are uh, natural bristle brushes that are made in Japan and they came up with a new collection. I think these are like mini versions of their existing brushes and I love a small brush. And if you also love a small brush, I think this could be a really fun one. Uh, I'm excited to be trying these out. I always love trying new brushes. Uh, I think these are the short handled one. I do like a longer handle and I do think they have longer handles as well. I just want to compare. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe it's, yeah, I was just comparing to mine because I know that mine are made with an extra long handle because I like that. But I think that Refer also has a longer handle. Like you can choose if you want the long or the short one, but I'm excited to be trying these out. And also, let me put this to the side. This is the holiday brush from Refer and it came in this little box, super pretty. And you open it up and it did have like some little thing here, but it had to take it off to, to to like be able to open it. And I just kept this for presentation and inside there is a brush and this one is like, it has a special handle that is like rounded and then flat and it has some flowers on the handle and it is like a, ooh, that's really soft. A little longer bristles than what I usually do, but I feel like this could be blush powder, finishing powder. That is really nice, very, very soft hairs. I'm very impressed. So this is the holiday brush and I think all of these are available. I will link them down below in case you wanted to check out Refer. Oh, this is the spray that I talked about. Bumble and Bumble sent me a PR package and they sent me the Thickening Dry Spun Texture Spray. This is the one that I bought the full size off and I did bring this one when I went to LA with my friend Heather. It's a really, really beautiful one and I was very impressed with this one and that's why I bought the full size in the sale. And I also have, I haven't used this yet, I forgot about this. Go Big Plumping Treatment, Volumizing Leave-In Treatment for Hair Plumping Effect that lasts all day. How am I supposed to, why did I forget to use this? Ah, 
how do I use this? Provides heat protection, all day frish, 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 frizz reduction and protects against breakage. Shake well, spray throughout damp hair and blow dry. Oh, bish, we are gonna be trying this one out. Why did I forget about, this sounds amazing. We are trying, we're trying that out because I really, really love this one. I did also get the new Nabla lip treatment lip mask and I also got the lip plumper, which I am gonna be giving away because I'm not living the lip plumper life. But that one is just like, they already had that, but they gave me like a duo. But I'm gonna be trying this lip mask out. I haven't been doing that yet, but let me see. How do I open this one? Hello? Ooh, this smells like fruit candy. Mmm, that smells very lovely. Mmm, it smells so, it smells like fruit candy. Really, really lovely. I love the like muted pink packaging with the red details. Yeah, we will be trying this one out. I'm excited. Okay, I only have three of these here because the last one is in my uh, purse right now, if that tells you anything. And these are the new Phyto Glow Lip Balms by Naturium. This is one of my favorite balm formulas on the market. They came out with some neutral colors. So this one is the lightest. Maybe I should put them like this. This this is what they look like. The, the shade range of the like neutrally brown shades. So this one is the lightest, this one is the darkest, and there is another more yellow leaning caramelly brown in between here as well. That one is in my purse. <laughs> Thank you very much, but this is a beautiful formula. You can find it at Target and at other places as well. I will link it down below. These colors are beautiful and I think I will be keeping one more color for me and I probably will be giving away these, the darkest and the lightest one. Maybe, I don't know, Samantha is coming here tomorrow. Well, as you're watching this, she's actually coming tonight because I'm putting this up on the first. So I might see if she wants to go through, if there's anything that she doesn't receive PR from that she wants to try. And she really should be trying these because she is in her lip balm era right now. These are stunning though. If you were thinking about buying some of those expensive ones from Glossier or like Summer Fridays, these are stunning. Try an affordable option first. The colors are beautiful. They have poppy spring ones, muted colors, clear one, neutrally brown. Absolutely beautiful. The last thing that I have in this one here, then I have just a couple of packages to show you, are the Kayali Drop. I have some of them here. The Kayali Drop with the Oud fragrances. So they gave me one full size and three of the smaller ones. I mean, I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna do with this big one because um, I don't love rose perfumes and this is Oud Gassim in Rose Oud. It's very rose. Not my favorite. I will say this Oud I, I read a review on this one and someone said that this is oud for beginners and I agree. I normally do not like ouds, but this is more of a softer, more commercial take on ouds. And uh, this one also is cafe oud that is coffee and rose. I smell mostly rose. I'm gonna be totally honest with you. Tom Ford also came out with one that was coffee and rose. I'm guessing they're in the same fragrance family. I could only smell the rose and I normally don't go for rose scents, but there is the vanilla oud that actually is really nice. It is a, it is a, it is sexier, deeper, oudy vanilla and the vanilla is really nice. If you like vanilla perfumes, I think you will enjoy this one. And then it is my favorite that is the tobacco oud. This has tobacco, oud and honey and it is really stunning. It is a very clear tobacco note in there. So if you like Tobacco Vanilla from Tom Ford, you might really enjoy this one as well. I think it's really nice. Okay, let me just show you a couple of PR packages here as well. I also got a couple of PR packages yesterday and we're gonna see if any of them are worth talking about. I did get the Nomad Air collection. It comes in this beautiful little pouch. Like you open it up. I even have the ticket in here. You open it up and it looks like this. There is a setting spray here that I kinda wanna keep for myself. I've only sprayed it once, but I might also just give this entire set away as is and whoever gets it is gonna have to live with the fact that I sprayed this, the, the setting spray once. But you could see that I just bought that one size setting spray, so do I really need one? Not really. This is a beautiful set though, but it's not made for me. It's like a moisturizer, a lip balm, a setting spray, 
a mini a six pan neutral palette. I think that like, and look at these details, like the little airplanes. It is a stunning collection, but it's very neutral. And I don't think that this is like perfect for me. I might give this entire thing away. I do tend to have giveaways every now and then, but recently I have been planning. I'm gonna have a 12 days of Christmas coming in December, and I'm gonna see if I can make as many giveaways as possible during that time. So keep your eyes open for that one. That's gonna come when we get to December. I also got this one from Pixie. They gave me a super big glow tonic that has my name on it. So that you can't give it away. <laughs> it's stunning though. It is a beautiful product. They also gave me this one that has their uh, favorites in it. I think this is the five essentials, five minutes. Honestly, I think that all of these products are, it's a pretty smart little set. You can definitely do a no makeup makeup look. This one I might take out and and give away because again, I don't think I need to be trying. I've tried a bunch of these, the Lip Lift Max, their gloss, really nice gloss. But again, I think that this is one of those things that like, I think someone like you will get better use out of this one. This one though, I'm very excited. One of my favorite skincare brands, Peach and Lily sent me a set and ooh, this is what it looks like. And this one has my favorite cream in here. This is the Matcha Pudding Antioxidant Cream. It is a beautiful cream. They have the Glass Skin Refining Serum, Wild Dew Treatment Essence, and a gel cleanser. Again, I don't know if I need to keep doubles. Oh, this is a glass bottle. How are you supposed to use this one? Oh, it's like an essence. Hmm, you know what? I might end up keeping all of this because Lord knows I really like this brand. I also got a package from Makeup Revolution. This is the Twisted Fantasy. It's like a big box like this. They came up with it for Halloween. I just didn't have time to dig into this, but let me show you the palette. It is actually, it looks really nice. Oh, it's one of these, wait, there we go. First of all, it is a pretty cool packaging with like, you can see it is that like you move it, I never remember what it says, but it's a beautiful packaging. And inside the shades, they look nice. That looks nice. Of course, I've not tried the quality, but that, this looks really promising. I gotta give them that. Last PR package that we're gonna be talking about is from ColourPop and I think they sent me the holiday sets. Special delivery. Our holiday kits have arrived. This is the season for 10 lip, eye, and body holiday kits full of iconic favorites and all new shades to gift or to keep. These are available at Target and Colourpop and there is a bunch of different things in here. And let me tell you, these like five pans that come in like the plastic packaging, they have a, a like a pinky mauve neutral one, a brown neutral one, and then a gray toned one, like, hello, Xenon, is anyone seeing that? If you wanted the Xenon, you can get this one instead. There's also an eyeliner in this set and you can buy this at Target. Honestly, this looks great. Do they have a pricing on this one? No, it doesn't say a pricing on it. But no, you get a five pan palette and a gel liner. It comes in three different colors. And then I have here two Super Shock duos. Look really pretty. There is a lippy stick uh, bundle. Uh, there are two different and I have both of them here. One that is a little bit more ready pinky shades and one that is a little bit more neutral shades. And lip liner sets. Colourpop lip liners are beautiful. Again, pinky red shades and more neutral shades. Beautiful and there is the, this is the Glitterly Obsessed, mini Glitterly Obsessed duo in a, it seems to be more like an iridescent rainbowy one and then a pinky one. Oh, I guess I have all the sets here, yes. So these are the sets that are available at Colourpop and Target. And honestly, I think these are gonna sell like hotcakes. Target usually sells out of Colourpop really, really quickly, at least the ones that are near me. Uh, I, I visit, Two different targets and they never have any color pop it's always sold out and as soon as they restock the shelves it sells out immediately so i will link these down below in case you're interested but i think that's i'm gonna end it there this has been a long video but let me just quickly go through the numbers because i want to let you know how much i spent and I didn't do amazing. I'm not necessarily on a strict low buy or anything like that i'm just trying to spend as little 
as possible on makeup because I'm a millennial trying to buy a house here. <laughs> I need to try and save some money, especially now that YouTube seems to be going down the drain. But I will say I did end up spending more money this year in October than I did in October of last year. But I did spend less money this year than I did in October 2021. October 2021 was bananas. I spent so much money. Last year I spent uh, $325 in October and that was including my uh, Sephora um, savings event haul, like my Sephora sale haul, which was $187 last year. So together it was $325. And uh, off those $187 was the Sephora haul. This year I spent $562. And out of that, my Sephora sale was $319. So obviously I spent more before the Sephora haul and I spent more on the Sephora haul. So my some did end up being more. I will say though, in October, 2021, I did spend over $600. So I'm doing better than that. But I think for me, the main culprit is that the holiday palette for Natasha Denona was released in October this year. And last year it was released in November. So that is like already a $60, $70 thing that's being put on the sum. And then I did spend more at the Sephora savings event this year than I did last year. I probably shouldn't have, but there was a couple of things that I wanted to try. And of course, then I did make a couple of orders for like lashes and I made that Moira order and it just ended up being more money. I don't know what to say. Oopsie. So I have to be really good in November. I have to be really good in November, but I can already tell that I'm kind of thinking I'm going to pick up that Huda Beauty because there were so many people asking me to review that one. So it's being released on the 1st of November. So I'm thinking that that will be the thing that I buy. <laughs> Please let me know what you think. Let me know if you bought anything exciting this year. Did you buy anything during the Sephora sale? Did you buy anything else that you really enjoy? Were you better this year than you were last year? I would love to hear your thoughts down below. We're all doing the best we can. And also let me know how you would like me to move forward with this series in 2024. I am going to be doing some changes on my channel come 2024. And I would love to hear your input. And even though I might not go with the suggestion that you're putting out there, it's always nice to hear different voices to like voice your opinions. And then of course I will like merge some suggestions that make sense for my channel with the ideas that I already have in mind. I hope that makes sense. Anyways, I hope you're having a great day and I will see you either tomorrow or the day after tomorrow with a new video. Bye!